Where is the Winter Dev Diary? I think we can answer that question. There is a hotfix update out for MCOC. Did you update? Missing gifting event rewards. We investigate and we have to see how Hercules dropped in the arena. It's pretty sad to be honest. All that plus the Anthro Crystal update, what's going on with that? And also this arena bug that seems to be kind of like coming out all of a sudden. Yeah, we've got all that and more. Now, as we always say, support the channel by hitting the like button as well as hitting the subscribe with post notifications on all. We're trying to this year hit to 70,000 subscribers. Can it be done? Who knows? We'll have to time travel and see if that's the case. If not, I don't know magic but those that don't use magic and use support i want to give a massive thank you to those that support the channel as a youtube member and as a patreon you're on screen now thank you very much for keeping the love and support especially rocking into 2022 also those that support on twitch.tv slash rich the man live should be doing some cavalier difficulty later on today on the twitch channel later on this week we'll be doing some warzone and should be doing friday fall guys again but yeah cheers everybody those that give tier one subs bits donations and as well the primes the twitch primes the amazon prime but now let's give it a go and start the show let's have a look at what is happening in the world of marvel contest champions first of all the missing anthropomorphic crystal has been an ongoing thing which will probably be coming into i don't think this is going to be resolved within one week of the problem starting the tldr this is that the crystal wasn't showing it meant that the shards that were in the solo event weren't showing up and were coming up as msid which is going to be something that we're going to be referring back to very shortly uh, but also it was just you know it's annoying because some players want to be able to open up these crystals i'm going to be doing an opening today so look out for that as a second video but yeah, what's going on with this? Well, back on January 7th, it seemed to be like a bit quiet, but then uh, an idea, an update to the situation was that the team is still looking into this, but it then went further to that, that on the same day or the next day, a fix was coming in. The most recent up-to-date up information on the situation is that Kabam Sibit did say on Saturday, would anyone who was still seeing the issue be able to fully restart their game and let us know if they are still seeing the issue as of now. We pushed a fix last night that should have resolved this, uh, but it may have taken some time to reach everyone. So what does, that, what does that really mean? Don't really know. Except for, then there was a flurry of people saying it started working, but also a flurry of people saying it was not working and it can't be seen. Kabam is still looking into this, and I would say if you, if it's still not working, because this thread does actually go a little bit quiet as of, say, yesterday, but then it could spark up again and you know, January 9th, January 8th, you know, it could be a case still it's not working. And I would say Kabam still needs to kind of look into this, and uh, yeah, players, go to the thread if you haven't indeed seen that it's working, because, hey, this is not good, this is meant to be kind of like live and working but some players then they kind of like they're, they're seeing it not seeing it so yeah disappointing i've got a crystal opening of this later on so i'm looking forward to doing that um but yeah for some players haven't seen it so yeah i don't know whether or not like a hot fix because that's something we're going to talk about in a minute the hot fix is, has come in so it could be something that might help but um not 100 percent sure on that Moving on to the second story of the show did you know there was a hot fix for the game now I first of all didn't have this as a kind of like auto update so I did see that it was kind of like something we had to update. In particular with this it's like uh, this version is to swipe issues of alliance walls and infinite load issues that occurs after fights in Abyss of Legends This should be released to all players uh, within the next few days. Now I'm pretty certain I've picked this up it kind of went on like auto update on, on it and when you go to the game app store it does actually say like the update which it should say 32.2.2 that is indeed the hotfix uh, version. It has actually kind of potentially caused further issues elsewhere. Many people on uh, on Twitter and as well on forums were talking about this MSID error title, mainly when it comes to Arena. I don't know if this is just limited to Arena, but there's definitely something that uh, has I've seen in multiple different places. You can see like here, players like to inform me about this. Um, and yeah, this seems to be in some ways linked to the hotfix but it's not 100 percent like you know that's that's the case it's just that as soon as people started noticing this which was yeah january kind of like ninth time 
This was something that somebody said like it was kind of like around Friday. The new update went in on Friday. So if you had that boom, fresh update and the uh, hot fix that, that we just talked about, it could be a case it's causing uh, more issues than, um, than players would like, mainly from these kind of like uh, interactions here. A lot of people were saying this is due to like potentially synergies when they're trying to like bring in synergies of champions in and you can see here same problem i can't synergy in in arena game always crashes so that's that's the big side it looks like anytime you get synergy in with a champion or set of champions or the three for your, for your arena grind yeah it's kind of like affected by that so that's the big sad right there my friends but there is a response from Kabam on the matter. Kabam Zero says, "Hey everyone, thanks for letting us know. I will lo be looking into it first thing tomorrow when I get uh, when I get it. Get in. If anyone can tell me if this has just started on the last day, has been active since the update on Tuesday, that would be quite helpful. As mentioned above, for now, um, I'll try to avoid pressing the synergy button. So that's advice from Kabam uh, Zero right there. I, I personally would say that this is something attributed to the hotfix. It just seems like it's very much too close to that hotfix coming in and what it could have pushed out in other areas, potentially. Um, yeah, many people saying that, that is, that's the update. That's what they saw that, you know, it could be there. Just look at my history, 32.2.2. .2. So yeah, could be attributed to that. Uh, but yeah, big disappointment, big annoying, but uh, I'm sure, well, Kabam Zero is on the case. You might be thinking, well, I've got all my kind of like gifting rewards, my alliance or my solo, those have come out to me, but there are players out there that do qualify, but are still not getting any of their rewards. There's been an active thread as of January 7th, so of, as of last week, and especially when Thursday was meant to be what we thought to be the cutoff point of receiving all of the rewards, even early, maybe Friday, for example, is when you should be receiving uh, rewards from gifting. It does seem that a lot of players seem to be missed off, as it were, from getting those rewards. Now, it could be said that maybe this is down to the fact that if you didn't front up a, a good chunk of uh, points, so, you know, just say that the points are kind of like whoever got the most points going down the kind of things like say, OK, if you put 500,000 points into the event, then you would be top priority to get your rewards. And it goes down the pecking order for the amount of points that you put into the event as how much you'll get back to it based on your qualification for the rewards that you're meant to get back. That could be the case. That may not be the case. But still, as I said, like the point is there are people that are missing out on their rewards. I've seen many people as well do support tickets to Kabam and not really getting like decent enough answers as to like what is effectively going on with the situation. The rules of the gifting event are that you have to be someone level 40 or above and story progression to conqueror. You also must have created a, an account prior to, uh, to November 20th and been a member of Alliance for 14 days. Days. There's also like other stuff as well. You must have remained in the same alliance for the entire event, and you must not have left the alliance after the point that the rewards have been started to give, been given out to players. So, yeah, essentially, like Kabama kind of like putting a lot of kind of like solved on these kind of like support tickets, which is annoying. But here's the thing: I don't know about these players individually. It's just a case of like these players are saying things like this. My third account is in dilemma right now because Kabam won't give me the solo gifting rewards because. Uh, it became a Cavalier last August 24th, joined the current alliance last September, and is level 56 before the gifting event. But Kabam marked my ticket sold with with uh, sold even without sending the rewards. So that if that is indeed the case, that is definitely something Kabam have messed up on and need to be looking into. So there's there's definitely some some fine tooth combing Kabam need to do to deal with this. And what I've done is I have pinged uh, somebody from Kabam message to say look you know uh, this is an active thread at the moment and this does need to be looked into many players have come to myself as well as many other people and said like you know look this isn't i i believe that i am in the right i believe i should be receiving some of the solo gifting rewards why have i not received it and taking it from there uh, so hopefully there is an answer hopefully this thread is then seen by the person that i've pinged and it can then kind of like be looked into and dealt with. Now, let's talk about dev diaries. As a lot of you would remember if you've been following the channel, we talked about in the news show last month that, or even November actually, it was November, where it was said by Kaban Mike that a dev diary was coming next month. That did not come to fruition. So the question obviously remains is, what is happening 
with a dev diary. There's so many things that need to be looked into with strikers recently being released where relics fall into this and how relics and strikers because both are combined or they're connected in some way. Masteries 2.0, Wish Crystal, solo competitive mode, raid bosses, you name it, still something that needs to be um, you know looked into and, uh, and, and put, put, put as, a, as a dev diary. We're, we're interested to find out what's happening this year, what is going to be happening for the future of the game, what command, command can commit to, and where do they go to kind of fix some of the issues when it comes to game engine problems and stability for the game, all that stuff and more. Now, there, this was brought up in the, in the forums, and Command Miki said that wasn't a dev diary, but it's more info on release timings, uh, the control input uh, refactor, this requires communication of its own, and I want to put more effort into communicating progress here. It's a lot of very technical stuff, but some find that interesting and informative. I do, I find it very interesting. Solo competitive mode, the last we saw of this was uh, at Summoner Showdown. Oh no, but its release is coming up pretty soon. I mean, that's good news, but uh, sorry, but if it's, if it's gonna be a case that solo competitive mode and Alliance Wars, as I've said, are similar and same, it's just like, why, why have we got this? Uh, once these two things are out every uh, to everybody, I want to spend some time digging into what is next. I'm happy to see what there is an appetite for. Uh, guys, there's more appetite for Dev Diaries. Um, yeah, I think this Dev Diaries are brilliant. And that's the communication I think all of us want to see. There's no roadmap coming soon. I mean, there was different types of roadmaps at release. If we had initially said there was, I apologize. Um, let me know if I make sure we correct. Yeah, it's just a case of like, I think it was... I don't want to dig out, like, constantly go back through old forum things and things, but I've done two videos on it where I've kind of, like, showcased where he's actually said it was coming next month and in, you know, November saying it, and then we brought it up in December as well. And then finally finishing off, because this thread got <laughs> this thread got closed, our team communicates quite a lot and I hold us to a high, a very high standard, especially compared to other games in our space. If that standard is not meeting yours, then there are much more constructive ways to make that known. Communication does not m come in only one way, and roadmaps are only one part of how we communicate. If we want more of a kind of comms, you need to let us know uh, that we're we're going to rush a, a roadmap when we have other things to focus on. What is just think? Why why kind of do Dev Diaries in in the first place? Especially with them being like what we had like a spring to summer one. And then we've not had um, anything like uh, autumn to winter one, and it's just nice to kind of figure out what you know what's happening with the game. And you can talk about other games, uh, Marvel Future Revolution, do a um, do a live stream talking about what's coming on for the future. They have regular kind of like announcement things talking about what's kind of like coming up in the future of the games. They have, yeah, like I said, more communication with Dev Diaries. Um, and yeah, coming updates and stuff like that. So there's there's there are other games out there doing this. <laughs> Well, they're, they're letting people know what's, what's going on, so yeah. In any case, in any case, no dev diary anytime soon. And it looks like we'll just get little bits of update here and there. So, big sad. Speaking of big sad, and that is uh, doing arena results. So yeah, we're going to do arena results from predictions. And why is it a big sad? Well, it's just a state of arenas every time we have like a, a god tier champion put in and everyone goes completely nuts. And the grind did indeed go completely nuts. It's shattered basic record so uh, this is like one of the highest if not is the highest uh, basic result there's ever been since this arena was put in uh, may last year so yes um but very sad to be kind of like talking about the fact that hercules the lowest hercules you could get was 97.5 mil in a basic arena and people may say oh well you know featured it goes so high it's like yeah but well, basic is meant to be like a lower end of kind of like grind potential it's not meant to ever get to the state of saying wow 97.5 mil is enough for position 97 for a six star so i've got the full results here 104 mil position 59 97.5 mil 97 93 mil 120 position 44 mil 294 position 33 mil 473 30 mil 483 um so you know it's just it's crazy the six star was like I don't even I don't even know, but it's going to be a case like it's so close to 100 mil to get a six star is ridiculous. Sabretooth, on the other hand, no five star information at the moment, but uh, 75 mil was enough for position 34, 57 mil enough for 50, uh, 75 position, 53 mil enough for position 91. Um, yeah, it's so annoying to see such a high cutoff. Ugh. 
yeah, it's it's just like it's massively inflating these uh, these scores. And I predicted 75 mil for Hercules, which I thought was fair against the fact that this was a basic arena. But people do be grinding at the end of the day. But uh, yeah, my predictions for round two are 100 mil for six star Hercules. Hate saying that. 35 mil for for a, for a five star Hercules. 55 mil for saber two six star, and uh, 32 mil for the five star saber two. Yeah, very disappointed with the grind. I'm sure it, it does put off a lot of players from doing some of these arenas uh, in, in general. And I think that Kabam need to look into the way that arena's done, especially from a rank perspective um, in uh, this, this year. So maybe we do need a dev diary to have this, uh, this addressed. Yeah, there you go. What's everyone's thoughts on that arena? Put it in the comment section down below. And that has indeed been the show for Monday. Lots on still for the week. Lots of video ideas I've got to post. And uh, then, uh, yeah, we'll rock into some other content very, very soon. Cheers, everybody. Bye-bye.